So about a week ago, I asked a question on Twitter asking who uses protection on their smartphone. I was surprised to see that about 47% of you guys use a bolted case and a screen protector on your smartphones, while about 20% of you guys use absolutely nothing. I decided to ask a couple of my YouTuber friends to see what they use on their daily smartphones, and this is what they said. Hey Zach and everybody, it's Michael Fisher, aka Mr. Mobile. Thanks for having me on to tell you about my stupid, moronic, stubborn, dumb habit of carrying my smartphone in the nude. Yep, I go completely unadorned. No case, screen protector, or skin. And as a result, I've consigned more than a few phones to early graves. So why do I do it? The most pretentious phone nerd reason ever. I don't like to cover up the designer's intent. I buy my devices based in part on how they look and feel in the hand. And no matter how cool the case or sleek the skin, putting anything on top interferes with that. It's not a smart way to protect your multi-Benjamin investment, and there are some skins out there that tempt me. But what can I say? It's the only mobile life I've ever known. Thanks for the time, everyone. Come see me at The Mr. Mobile on YouTube. And above all, don't be like me when it comes to cases. Zach, thank you for having me on your channel. This is Saf from Super Saf TV. And for my devices, a lot of you guys may already know, I tend to use a D-brand skin. The advantage of having a skin is that your device will have some more grip and you'll be less likely to drop it. It also adds zero bulk and it gives a nice custom look. Now, the disadvantage of skins is obviously that you're not going to really get much protection if you do drop your device. And for that reason, when I am out and about, I tend to use a case. When looking for cases, I always go for a soft rubber material, which is not too bulky, but at the same time is going to give some protection. I quite like the air cushion technology from Spigen cases. And the other thing that I definitely look out for is a lip around the display. So if I was to drop my phone face first on a hard surface, which I have done in the past, then it is gonna have some form of protection, although I tend not to use a screen protector. I kind of find they come in the way. That's me personally anyway. That's it from me, guys. Zach, thanks for having me once again. This is Saf from Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I'm Crystal, and yes, I have broken phones before. I've broken actually two, which considering how many phones I get here, that's pretty good, I would say. But yeah, I broke the Galaxy S7 and the Nexus 6P. And I actually didn't drop these. I was actually just running up concrete steps and I fell with them. Like I scraped my knee and everything. Like they just, they fell with me and they kind of broke my fall. So yeah, they actually have the same crack pretty much like right at the edge. And I really don't think like a case would have saved it because of the angle that like it fell on the concrete. Now, sometimes I will use a case and other times I'll use a skin. It really all depends on what phone I'm using or how I'm feeling that day. It's not really about the protection. It's more about like dressing up the phone and making it look nice. What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, and one of the most frequent questions I get is what do I use to protect my phone? Now for the most part, I think everybody should have a case on their phone because as soon as you drop it, those good looks are basically ruined. They're hard to resell, and if you're like me and like to keep them and use them in future videos, you wanna make sure they're in good condition for that camera. But of course, a good case also provides a good grip on your phone so you don't drop it as frequently. And if you have a good case with a nice lip on it, you don't need to add a screen protector because that means when you lay the phone flat, you don't scratch the glass. And glass is already pretty scratch resistant, so I never see a need to add a screen shield, especially since most phones have curved glass at the edges, which means screen shields never fit properly anymore anyway. So generally speaking, I just use a really nice case with a good lay-on table design, a good grip so I don't drop it, and it's not too bulky so it doesn't add to the thickness of the phone. Now one of my favorite cases right now is the Spec Presidio Grip and for the most part I'm just looking for a case that has a hybrid design, a hard shell on the outside, a rubber shell on the inside that provides some shock protection and also seals up the phone so sand and grit don't get between the case and the phone to scratch it. So that's generally what I'm looking for and Spec has been one of the pioneers in that sort of design and that's one I generally recommend to most people. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And for me, I typically like to have a case on my phone. My current daily driver is an iPhone 7 Plus and I'm using the Apple leather case with it. Now I'm using this case because I love the look and the Apple leather cases has surprisingly withstood some pretty nasty falls for me in the past. So I'm feeling pretty confident using it here. But something that I did this year that I don't typically do is go without a screen protector. And I gotta say guys, that was a huge mistake. 
I'm the kind of person that gets bothered with fine scratches, and just by having the iPhone 7 Plus in my pocket, I've gotten a ton already, and it's driving me crazy. But I typically like to use regular screen protectors, regular plastic ones, they're pretty inexpensive, easy to apply, and if anything goes wrong, I can replace it with no problem. So I'm gonna go back with that once I get a new iPhone, or maybe I switch up my phones, but definitely using an Apple leather case and a screen protector is the way to go. And there you have it. Even among some of the top tech YouTubers, it just boils down to personal preference. Some walk around completely naked, and others are completely covered. I've had a lot of phones during my life, and even since my very first smartphone, the Samsung Vibrant way back in the day, I have always had a case and a screen protector on my phone. My case of choice is the OtterBox. Kind of like how some of the other YouTubers were talking about having a hard shell on the outside and a rubber case on the inside, it has that dual layer of protection. Plus, that little edge along the lip of the case is pretty important. Even if your phone has curved glass, like on this Galaxy S7 Edge, that little lip will protect the screen if it ever drops face down. Screen protectors are also important to me. I'm not so worried about small micro scratches. In fact, I'm still using this Galaxy S7 Edge that I used in my durability test about a year ago. It's got some major scratches on it and this little burn mark. So the minor scratches don't bother me as much, but when I'm using a phone that is brand new, the resale value is very important, and that's why I put a screen protector on it, because it'll look pristine if I ever go to resell it. But as we've seen today, it really just boils down to personal preference. I am curious as to what you use on your smartphone. Do you have a case and a screen protector, or do you walk around living life on the edge with no protection? I'll be linking the YouTube channels of everyone who participated in this video today down in the video description, so make sure you check them out. I know before I buy any piece of expensive technology, I like to check out the reviews, and these guys are some of the best. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.